How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So some of you guys have been asking, can you be hacked through a VPN? I want to address this question real quick. Now, while using a VPN can help to protect your privacy and security online, it's important to understand that no security measure is completely foolproof. It is theoretically possible for someone to hack into your device or network even when you're using a VPN. However, it's generally much more difficult for someone to do so when you're using a VPN. And this is because a VPN encrypts your internet traffic and routes it through a secure server, making it much harder for anyone to intercept or monitor your activity. Additionally, reputable VPN providers take steps to secure their servers and protect their users' data by uh, running their servers on RAM drives instead of uh, hard drives. So that means they're not going to be storing any information, uh, especially if they have a strict no logs policy that is also independently audited. Even if someone were to intercept your traffic, they're not really going to be able to extract any information. Um, also, if someone were to, let's say, try to decrypt your traffic, this is 256 bit encryption we're talking about, especially if you're using some of the top VPNs like Express, Nord or Surfshark. I mean, the only tangible way for somebody to intercept your data is if they got the keys from the VPN provider themselves. So let's say somebody broke into the ExpressVPN office, or if somebody from ExpressVPN were to uh, share the key to your sessions, then yes, a hacker can intercept your data. And so while it is not impossible to be hacked while using a VPN, it's much less likely than if you are not using a VPN. It's always a good idea to use a combination of security measures to protect yourself online, including using a VPN. Um, keeping your device's software and security measures up to date is also another way. Installing some kind of anti-malware software or an antivirus software and keep your internal PC's firewall on and do not turn it off. Uh, and also being careful about the websites you visit and the information you share online. So a combination of these things will make sure that you'll be much safer than usual. Now, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN and your own preferences and specific needs and budget, of course. But they all do have a strict no locks policy that is independently audited. They also boast the standard 256-bit encryption. They have a solid server infrastructure and plenty of server variety. They're able to keep you anonymous and protect your IP address when torrenting. Um, you're able to unblock all kinds of streaming services and they have DNS and IPv6 leak blocking. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to talk too much about these VPNs, but if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing discounts if you're interested in jumping straight to those. Either way, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you could simply get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.